Hello, this is Klaus from QuantUX. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use animations in QuantUX. Let's start with this prototype of a sign-up form. We want to add a hover effect to the sign-up button. We select the sign-up button and we select the hover property in the lower right corner. Now, we select the new background color, for instance, a lighter blue. If we start the simulator and hover with the mouse over the button, we can see that we have just programmed a hover effect. Next, we want to create a hamburger menu. We create a new screen and we select the overlay property and give the screen a cool name, for instance, menu. Next, we create the actual menu. We press R to create a new rectangle and place it on the screen. Now we link the menu button to the new screen. When we start the simulator and click on the menu button, we can see that the new screen is shown as an overlay. But this is of course a little bit boring. So let's change the animation. We select the hamburger button and now choose the animation property in the properties panel. We can now customize the animation. For instance, we can choose a slight right animation, change the easing function and also the duration of the animation. Once we have saved the animation, we can launch the simulator. When we click on the hamburger button, we can see that the menu screen is slided in from the right side. Next, let's add some menu items. We press T to add a new text and we give it a text, for instance, item 1. We select it again to change the size of the font and also the font color. We change it to white. Now we create several copies of the menu item. We select it and choose the clone tool. Now we can just drag and drop down the selection box and we've seen we have created some copies. Afterwards we use the responsive resize tool to distribute the items evenly. Now we select the screen and click on the animations button. The animation composer will open. We can see here that we have an animation line for each of the widgets. We start setting for the first label, slide from the right animation and we do it for the others as well. Every time with a little bit offset to give it a cool effect. When we open now the simulator and click on the hamburger menu, we can see that first the screen is slided in and then the menu items are slided in according to the screen animation that we have just defined before. Now let's have a look at another application. We have a restaurant ordering application that allows the users to select a menu. We want to do an animation that will move the picture of the hamburger to the shopping cart. To do so, first we copy the screen and it is important to notice that when you copy the screen, the name of the item stays the same. Next, resize the hamburger image and move it over the shopping item. We also change the opacity to 30%. Now we select the order button and add an animation link to the other screen. If we launch now the simulator and click on the order button, you can see the hamburger is now moved over the shopping cart icon. The animation seems to be a little bit slow, so we select the animation property and set the duration to 0.3 seconds. Now we create a third copy of the screen. On the third copy we will add a new text with the order confirmation. So we just create a text element and write ordered, we resize it and center it. Next we create a link from the second screen to the third screen. Now we change the trigger. Instead of a click, we will use the timed animation and we will set it to 0.4 seconds. Afterwards, we open the animation composer. We select the newly created label and give it a zoom effect of 0.5 seconds and choose the bounce easing function. Last, we create a fade out animation for the hamburger image. If we launch now the simulator, click on the order button, the complete animation is run. First the hamburger image is moved over the shopping item and afterwards the third screen is shown and the order label is zoomed in. 